but it's like I'm in the right spot. Only directions I had, the guy told me to park at Papa John's. That's where I'm at right there. It's Papa John's directly in front of me. That's all I know. Now I'm about to walk down here and see where this man wants me to pull at. I know I got to pull straight down the road, but I don't know if I'm gonna have to make a left or a right. I'll find that out once I get down here and talk to this guy. Hey, I can't wait till the iPhone 12 comes out so I can get that wide angle on the iPhone. I can't wait till it comes out. Y'all get the wide angle. Right now, this is what we gotta settle for. We gotta settle for this normal angle. I got the, I got the X6 Max. I don't have the wide angle. The 11 has it, but I'm not gonna get the 11. I'm gonna wait till the 12 comes out. The only way I can get a wide angle is if I use my GoPro when I walk. But I don't always have my GoPro in my pocket. So I just checked in with the guy. So I gotta go down the street and make a right. That's all. I know I need I know I had to go down the street, but I didn't know if it was a left or a right. So now I know it's a right. <sighs> Yeah, that guy barely spoke English. He was like, pipes? Pipes? I said, yeah, pipes. <laughs> hey, he wasn't even Hispanic. He wasn't even Hispanic. Some other nationality. I'm not sure what these nationalities are in New York. But like, they got that like Long Island accent. I'm not sure. Y'all New York people, y'all know. He was like, pipes? Pipes? I said, yeah, pipes. He said, right, right here. I said, I said, thank you. Little do he know. I'm about to give me some damn coffee first. That's what I'm about to do. Get some damn coffee. Right here. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I don't want breakfast. I want coffee. Coffee! Flatbed gay! Coffee! Flatbed gay! See that left turn right there in front of me? Right in front of me where that black truck. I gotta make that left turn. But, it's a tight street. I can't make it. I got here last night. I got last night, won't nobody here. So I, I, I coulda, last night I coulda made it. But now this morning I see I can't make it. So what I gotta do is, just go down here to the road, get back on the highway, this little highway right here, then make the left. That's the easiest way to do it. So I can get my trailer around. Hey, gotta, gotta think quick, man. Hey, I'm dreading getting back out of here, too. I'm dreading it. <laughs> it won't too hard coming in. But the bad thing about New York, you come in, you gotta get back out. So I'm dreading that. Yeah, this is a lot more space right here to make this left turn other versus over there. Come on, buddy. Mr. Big Apple. Hey, that guy said pipe, pipes, pipes. I said, yeah, pipes. <laughs> that was so funny. behind that bus it would have been real tight if those cars weren't in front of that black truck I might could have made it but I probably could have made it anyway but I wanted to play it safe now I'm about to get as close to these orange orange cones right here on the left side so I can make this right turn 
go down here with these other guys. Let's see if they're gonna help me. They got a ground guy with a stop sign. When I move, you move, just like that. When I move, you move, just like that. It's a, it's a damn fire truck over there about to come out. I'm gonna wait for that fire truck. I'm waiting for somebody to tell me something. I tell you what, when I first came down here, I talked to this other guy. He told me to talk to the guy with no hard hat on. That's him standing right there. The guy with no hard hat. That's the one that said pipes, pipes. I don't know. Blow the horn. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna creep up a little bit. Out here giving directions. I see the crane up there. Turn around and come here. Okay.
back up into the street and turn around. It seems easier than it. y'all what <laughs> it's a lot easier it's easier to talk about it than to be about it
out here. Let's get up out of this thing, man. I'll show y'all how tight it is getting up out of here. How many people walking in the street. Please don't let me run into some unexpected delays and road work and whatever. I'm just ready to get up out of here. Y'all know how this New York City traffic can be. You see that guy just passed me in the, in the bus lane. Look at this car, same thing. Passing me on the right side. That's a bus lane right there, a little small lane beside me. You gotta watch out for those buses too. Definitely watch out for them. I tell y'all what, I went inside Papa John's last night. That was Papa John's parking lot I was parked in. I went inside Papa John's last night. Y'all know that New York City is the epicenter of the coronavirus. Like right now, I'm coming up to this place that says uh, COVID testing right here. Testing for COVID-19 right there. Turn right. I would turn right if I had time. But uh, New York City is the epicenter. We got more cases than anywhere in the world. It's bad up here in New York City. So when I went inside Papa John's last night, I had on my mask. I was like, let me put my mask on. Because North Carolina, you can't go nowhere without a mask. <laughs> so I was assuming it was the same for up here. Man, I went inside Papa John's. Man, ain't nobody had no mask on. Nobody. Only one had the mask on, people that worked there. I was like, well, I, I see what it, but hey, but it's, I, I will say this. I've been watching, I've been watching the news all the time. There's really no scientific evidence that masks stop the spread of COVID. It's really just uh, a mind thing, I guess. I guess it makes people feel safe. That's what masks do. They make people feel safe. But they really don't do anything. Look at that car, hauling ass. So I gotta make a left right here. Watch out for pedestrians. Hey, one thing about these pedestrians in New York, if you don't, you, you know we got we gotta care. But they don't care. They don't care, man. I had some guys just walked across the street last night on me. They ain't care. I had the green light. I'm easing through traffic. They they hopping right out there. I wonder if those big buildings right there, I wonder if those like uh, apartment complexes. That's what I'm assuming. Let me hurry up and get up here. Oh, they still got a red light. Yeah, I gotta hurry up and get up here and make this left turn, cause these lights, they turn quick. Especially when you know, like when you load it, it's hard to take off. By the time you get up enough speed to take off, the damn light, the light will be green. By the time you get your speed up, the light turn back red, just like that. curves and this is the little area up here where all the little stores are at I guess up here they call them bodegas I guess that's what they call them yeah once I get past this point 
there ain't gonna be nothing else to see, so I'm gonna cut the camera off. I don't want a video to just be 30 minutes of me driving. I haven't even got my next load yet. I'm just aiming on getting out of New York City. Look at this car, three point turn. Come on, buddy. Yeah, these look like all apartment complexes up here. I'll tell you what, this ain't as bad as, this is not as bad as Brooklyn. I'm in Queens right now. This ain't as bad as Brooklyn. Brooklyn was terrible. I don't never want to go back to Brooklyn. Those pipes I used to take to Brooklyn, like I actually went downtown, like downtown Brooklyn, like by the Barclays Center. I was that deep in town in a truck. Trucks are not made to go in there. They need they need to offload trucks somewhere else and, and get a damn a straight truck to offload whatever that, that you offload. They need to get a straight truck to go up in there. That place ain't made for trucks. Not at all. All y'all New York people, man. I don't see nobody outside sitting on the stoops. Aki B. Nobody sitting on the chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. Make it rain. And air it out. Make it rain. And air it out. Hey y'all, what y'all know about that, man? Y'all, hey, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all that watch me, man, y'all. A lot of y'all are 90s babies. Y'all know about that chicken noodle soup. With the soda on the side. I think that song came out in, I want to say 2006. Something like that. 2006. Yeah, we're about to get up out of here. As soon as I make it back to 678, I'm good. We ride 678 all the way to uh, back to 95. Six seventy eight, six seventy eight North. I took the South one yesterday. Look at that car. I tell you, boy, I was looking like. Do they got a green a signal light? They don't care. Hey, and one thing I know about New York, the police don't care either. Hey, the police is sitting right there and watch them do it. They ain't, they ain't worried. Police in New York, they ain't worried about little traffic stuff. They worried about drugs and. And crime, and I ain't, I ain't gonna say they worry about crime now, cause now, now they're getting their ass beat by the protesters. I ain't even gonna say they worried about crime. So they definitely ain't worried about that little traffic violation. <laughs> Running the red light when ain't nobody looking. They definitely ain't worried about that. Okay, here it is. This is this the little bodega area right here where I was at yesterday. It's raining right now and it's early in the morning. But yesterday, yeah, it was packed, man, full of people out here. See that McDonald's right there? Man, they had a long line outside the McDonald's. It was packed. I see they got a lot of laundromats up here too. I seen one laundromat yesterday had one cent, one cent a minute to dry clothes. And I was thinking, I said, damn, a dollar, a dollar give you one hour? I said, yeah, all their clothes should be dry. I, I don't, I'm not sure how much it is at the laundromat back home, but I, I thought you at least got to start out with 25 cents. They had once. They probably you probably got to put change. They probably don't take pennies up here either. But still, well, you know nowadays laundromats actually have. They have. They don't really use money like they used to. Now you gotta. Now you gotta get like a card from the laundromat and load money on it. That's how they work now. The last time I went to one. Yeah, a lot of laundromats don't really take cash anymore. Yeah, we are living in the 2020. And now with this national change shortage, maybe, maybe they're going away from change altogether. Chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup. Hey, I might, I might end up listening to that song today. Might listen to some chicken noodle soup. Might listen to some old Cameron. Come home with me. Purple Haze classic album. Might check out, might listen to some old Jay Z, the Black Album. 
might go might might take it back all the way to all the way to reasonable doubts. That's what I'm listening to today. Nothing but Jersey music. Jersey and New York. All I'm listening to. Y'all new school, y'all listen to Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. I, I like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj too. But I also like the old school, like like Jigga. What's my mother? Jigga. <laughs> Hey, and, and I, I didn't mention, I didn't mention the king, 50, 50, what up blood, what up cuz, they don't play that, they don't play that, they don't play that G unit, we don't play around, hey 50 my dude now, hey man, if anybody watching this video man, if you got any kind of my DM calling. Hello? Hey, Vicky. So the one that's going to Raleigh pays more than the one going to Fayetteville? Okay, uh, and that delivers between seven and noon? I'll take the fair bill. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Woo. So I got a load going from Burlington, Burlington, New Jersey to Fairville, North Carolina. Fairville, North Carolina. It's about 20 minutes from where I stay. So if I make it home today, I don't got to leave until uh, Monday morning. And then I got to go to Columbia and pick up some more pipes. But this time, they're going to Baltimore. Yeah, but the good thing about the good thing about Burlington is that majority of the time it's a preload. And she just said, because I might get there, I should get there by, I should get there by eleven o'clock. It might be loaded. I have been there before and it haven't been loaded, and you had to get loaded. But they're pretty quick though. Burlington, New Jersey, they got a. Um, they got a drop yard right there in Burlington. So that's where I'm going right now, Burlington, New Jersey. She just sent it to me. I already know the address because I just went there. Uh, those shingles that I dropped off. Um, when did I drop those shingles off? Can't remember. When I dropped those shingles off, what was that Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Those those came from Burlington. So it's going to be a it's going to be a preloaded trailer. All right, gang, we almost at the highway now. I got 0.2 miles. I just got to get over to this left lane so I can make the turn. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all the securement on these shingles. For y'all that never seen shingle securement, I'll show it to you. No biggie. See y'all in a few.
show y'all something, man. I got one strap right there. All these winches, it ain't no straps on this trailer. No straps on this trailer at all. See how many I got on the other side. This tire looks kind of flat. It's full of air though. One strap on that side. One, two, three. Three on this side. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta add about eight straps to this to this load. Fuck. I had to do the same thing last week. That's why I came back. That's why I came back over here beside the trailer I just dropped. Gotta take the straps off this other trailer. Ain't that about a bitch. Gotta do what I gotta do. So whoever pick whoever picks this trailer up, they ain't gonna have no straps on it. But I can't help that. I gotta do what I gotta do. So I know y'all gonna ask me. You don't have any extra straps inside the truck? Yeah, I do. But guess what? When I drop, when I drop the trailer again, I'm gonna have to take all my straps off. And I don't got this many. I probably got like four, four extra straps in that truck. And and I need more than four. Same thing happened to me Wednesday when I was here. No, that was Tuesday. Same thing happened Tuesday. I think it ain't that hot out here.
guy in that Volvo, his load must not be ready. Two, four, six. Yeah, I need six. So that's four more. Just pull it off. Must have got some good news. I got a trick, I got a trick for this. My trusty winch winder. So I'm gonna have to roll all these up. My trusty winch winder. A lot quicker than doing it by hand. Trusty winch winder. Damn, that damn Volvo lift. Damn. He hauling ass too. Wonder where he's going. It might have been like your load ain't gonna be ready till two or three o'clock. He might be going to the Petro. Cause the Petro ain't far from here. That's probably what he's doing going to the pet truck. I ain't got that to trust that. Better than sitting here.
feisty one right here. Feisty. Feisty, ain't you? Two more straps. Two more. Two more, baby. Two more. I just, yeah, two more, two more, two more. Little feisty ones, aren't you? Gotta put that little fold in it like that so you can push it through. Let it fold back in when you put it in the winch. See that? Little trick. Y'all didn't know that, did you? Shingles are actually one of the easiest loads to secure. If I didn't have to move all these straps, I would have been finished by now. I would have been tightening them up. Get, let's get these twists out of here. Yeah. Shingles are easy. 
two straps on the front and back, one on the ones in the middle. Some companies want you to put an X strap on the front and back. Yeah, but we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna put the X strap on the front and back. We're gonna put two straps on the front and back and we're gonna put edge protectors and we're gonna call it a day. Let me move these heavy motherfuckers. Ugh. Oh, they got water in them. Ugh. Whew, they got water in them. Luckily, I didn't get too wet. These the same tarps that y'all saw me move on my uh, last video. Same tarps. Y'all don't see me using them. Y'all just see me keep moving them around. Let me go ahead and move this dunnage. I usually don't use bungees on this dunnage either, but I don't have nothing to hook that two inch strap on them on this specific trailer. But that trailer I'm about to pick up now, it's a different style. So I'll be able to hook the two inch strap on it. Technically, you're not supposed to use bungees, but hey, sometimes you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Those two pieces over there right now, those are lightweight. These right here, these are the oaks. Oh, four by fours. Hey, those things are heavy. They're heavy. If you ever been to Jado Steel in uh, Petersburg, that's the ones you get right there. That Jado Steel. Yeah, these are some heavy sunk guns. Bet you one thing, you won't pick it up with one hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Supposed to have eight. But I got seven. If y'all go back to when this video first started, you'll see I took that two inch strap out of my dog box and threw it on the ground. Cause I knew I was gonna use it. That's why I took it out. careful when you climbing up under these trailers because sometimes you have some bars some 
bars up in here. And them things, boy. Come on, buddy. Fuck around, stand up too quick. And hit your head on it. Roll this extra up. Yeah, that other, that other trailer. It's got some smooth, some, some kind of smooth things on it. And it's hard to hook the two inch strap to it. That's why I had bungees. But this one, you can hook, see it? You can hook, hook the straps on that one. Let's roll these up. It's a lot easier than doing it by hand. It don't hurt, they got a little twist. Keep that in mind if you ever gotta if you ever gotta do what I just did, you wanna roll them straps up. Get you one of these. Anybody know what the next step is? Next step. Let's put these tarps in place. Edge protectors. Now fortunately, I'm tall enough. I'm tall enough to not be able to have to climb on top of that trailer and put those edge protectors. But the one in the middle, I can't reach it from the ground. So how we do, we kill two birds with one stone. When I climb up there to fix them tarps, I'm gonna put these, put those in the middle. While I'm, while I'm up there. Let's do it. Now look, the thing about that trailer I just dropped, when whoever come picks it up next time, they are gonna have to do the same thing I did. Put some straps on it. But you see this trailer I got, I ain't had no straps. So I really didn't have no choice. They're gonna be pissed when they get it. But hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and do all these while I'm up here. Save myself some time. Work smart, not hard.
also I can get some of these twists out while I'm up here. Yeah. Twist and shouts. Anybody ever seen Pulp Fiction? Remember that, remember that part where they had that twist contest <laughs> with John Travolta? Yeah, twist and shout. Oh, MTB Bob telling in. He must have did the same thing that other PNS did. Dropped his trailer. His load wasn't ready. So he probably went to the truck stop. Me personally, if I only had to wait like an hour or so, I probably would have just stayed here. Cause I would need to save as much drive time as I can. You hear what that guy said? He come to get an empty trailer. I said there's one right there. <laughs> he just asked if it was some empty trailers. I said, you got one right there. He pulled up and looked at it. He said, hell, there ain't no damn straps on it. Hey, that's what I was just talking about. All right, somebody send PNS a message. Tell them you got trailers out here with no straps. That's a trickle effect. It's gonna keep it's gonna keep happening like that until the driver shows up with about ten straps on his truck and, and has enough to put on the trailer. So I didn't have enough. Basically, everybody out here is just recycling down straps. It's a never ending cycle. A never ending cycle. Uh, I was going to give a special shout out earlier, but I forgot. Special shout out to my dog, Fish Scale Montana. Shout you out, buddy. If y'all wanna know why I'm giving Fish Scale Montana a shout out, Cody that load going to Fayetteville, North Carolina. His hometown.
starting to come out. Good thing we almost finished. Put your weight on it sometimes. Whew. Let's crank this thing up. I gotta check the lights on this trailer. I didn't check them earlier. Let's crank it up. Check these lights. Left side the light works. Let's check the back. Left hand right on the back work. Right side the light works. All the straps is tight. All straps are tight. Properly tight. Well, how you say? Properly mounted and secured. All straps tight. Whew. Let's see how long it took me to do all this. 
Cause I've been off duty the whole time. Before anybody says anything about, oh, you supposed to be on duty. No shit, Sherlock. I'll take care of that. Two minutes could have been quicker if I had to move all them down straps let's see how long it's gonna take me to get home let's see how many hours I got Whew. I'll be pushing it I got eight hours 24 minutes on my drive clock seven hours 56 minutes I get home. Hey, make sure y'all follow me in the uh, Flatbed Gang Facebook group, man. Flatbed Gang Facebook group. Make sure y'all follow me, man. Hey, one more thing, because I've been meaning to say this for the longest. I've been meaning to say this. <clears throat> the marketplace is open for t shirts and whatever. I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna get somebody a t-shirt. But this is what I need you to do. I need you to share this video, like the video, drop the snowman, share the video, send me a screenshot. I want you to share it on Facebook, wherever you wanna share it to. Send me a screenshot to my inbox on Facebook. And today is Friday. By Wednesday of next week, I'll pick a winner. You gotta, you gotta be able to send me your address so I can ship it to you or whatever. But I got you. Got a t-shirt for you. Share the video. Drop the snowman. Like the video, man. Get your free t-shirt. I will pick a winner. Alright, I'm out, man. Flatbed game.